country song it goes I could tell a lie who we do just fine when I hear that train coming down the line oh, I love you baby but it don't mean a thing cause I'm a I'm the man I'm a, that yeah, no, no? Uh, well, in any case, it's an old, pardon? It's a Hank Williams song. Or Hank Williams used to sing it. And then the woman from Belle and Sebastian and her new man covered it in this really sexy way. But anyways, that song is the inspiration. <laughs> you guys feel inspired and you want to sing along? Um, do any of you feel inspired? Of course. Inspired. <laughs> Debbie is a perpetual smartass. <laughs> For those of you who can't hear her, she goes, no. <laughs> um, well, the, the, t the chorus says, taking the time to take, every line starts with taking the time. So just remember, taking the time and then you can mumble the rest. So it's taking the time to take it easy, taking the time to take it slow, taking the time for just relaxing and for getting in the flow, taking the time to take it easy, taking the time to take it slow, just sitting back relaxing and letting the afternoon go. Washington, D.C., 
end, kind of like Manhattan. There's it's got some rivers. Um, the Potomac River is a very uh, large river that runs through Washington D.C. Um, <coughs> and you can there's certain areas where you can sit on the banks, and this is actually where that this song was written. So. If you want to close your eyes and imagine a lazy spring or summer day and you've got a picnic and you're sitting by the river. And D.C. is very clean. I know you don't really want to sit by some of the rivers in Manhattan, but D.C. is very clean, so it's, it's a pleasant picture that I'm painting. Sitting by the Potomac. Well, you're sitting by the river, the girl is by your side. When you just finished a picnic lunch, you couldn't eat another bite. You reach for the brown paper bag and have a sip of wine. Tunes. I'm gonna come out to tip jar in the next one. Suggest donations five dollars per set. So get your money ready and put your hands together for Elizabeth Devlin. So here's my shameless plug. I have vinyl. I have 12 inch vinyl. I have 6 inch vinyl. And I have these little things that are about three inches in diameter, they're called CDs. <laughs> and they're for sale, all of them. The 12 inch was pressed, there's only a hundred of them in existence. Um, and they're signed and kissed and hand numbered by yours truly. 
the um, smaller guy is uh, there's only 500 of them printed. And then the CDs, they're not as special, but they have beautiful photography on them. Gorgeous, gorgeous photography by this uh, very talented woman named Magli Sharon. So if you like photography and you want to see some fantastic photography, it's like a triple spread, kind of like a Playboy, but without the porn and smaller. But now you want to buy it, don't you? Because I said it's like Playboy. Does it have good articles? They have excellent articles. That and Vogue. Like two magazines that you would not think would have good articles. Vogue, you'd think, oh, it's probably just like a bunch of models and like clothes you can't afford. They have great articles. And I've read, actually I haven't, I've just heard that Playboy has good articles. <laughs> So do you want a fast one or a slow one? Fast? Okay. You know, yours was so persuasive and prominent because it was loud and it had an accent, but you were outnumbered, so I have to put it. Sorry. Okay, this is called the horse race. You guys ever been to the races? Lost some money, made some bets. I grew up uh, knowing a man who trained racehorses for a living. And we used to go to the tracks when we were way too young. Shakes resurrecting summer's cool. He thrusts one shoulder forward toward the metal of the rail. Perspiration grips my forehead as we leap into the gale. Okay. 
forward into the sand, into the sand, into the race. My eyes flicker back with memory to her plastic tear stripped face. Come back when you are clear, she said, return when you can stand. Alabaster lips whispered softly, come back to me, a man. I do not recall that witch propelled me to this dismal place. For so time the sands of time, and my heart beats you Thank you all so much for listening. Thanks for sticking around for being here. There's lots more music coming up after me. Um, I will be sitting approximately behind the English fellows right there. So if you are interested in a CD or some vinyl, the 12 inches, um, there's only 100 of them, so they're $20. Uh, the smaller vinyl is $8. You'll know why when you see it. And the CDs are 10 and I'll give you a deal if you want several. Pardon? Negotiable. Excuse me? That's good. I said negotiable. Negotiable. I can't hear. I'm sorry. Negotiable. It's negotiable. Yes, it is. Especially if you say it like that. <laughs> I'm so charmed. I won't know what to do. Like, just take it all for free. So I write a lot of songs, and uh, it's funny because a lot of people are like, oh, your songs are all about women lamenting about the loss of love. I'm actually a pretty happy person, and I don't feel that I lament very often over the loss of love or men. However, that said, um, I do write a lot of songs, but I don't really know who I'm writing them for. So often people think they're written for someone in particular, uh, but most of the time they're not. They're, if anything else, uh, written for someone I imagine. And uh, this is the case with this one. And the fantastic thing is, now I know who I'm singing it to.